Hi everyone, it's Michelle again with Dr. Moss from Temecula Creek Equine. Uh, we have Sabin here, or Saban, I still don't know how you say it correctly, so we're just going to go with it. Uh, but he has been a hot topic of your questions. Just to give a little back history, he came in as a stallion about three years old. Uh, several months ago, he was gelded. On his intake, it was noted as him having um, a wound on his temple. Uh, we worked hard to get that cleared up and it was just ever so slightly still there when he had an adoption offer um, and Andrew Feist who sometimes gets a really bad rap on the internet because he is kind of a badass and rides out some pretty gnarly horses. Um, he wanted to adopt him to train him for hunter jumper work. Uh, if you don't know Andrew you probably have not seen the softer side of him. He's actually a really sweet cool nice kid to these horses um, and he kind of gets a bum rap online but I did my homework and found out for myself instead of listening to internet swirl so he adopted him and shortly thereafter a couple weeks later he called us and said hey the wound is starting to look ugly and this horse won't eat any longer uh, he called his own vet his vet came out and um, you know he was tried on some antibiotics broad spectrum still wasn't getting any better lost some weight and at that point you know ethically we didn't feel that it was right to pass a problem on to someone else so we offered to bring him back get him better and fatten him up and then he could go back to him into training so dr moss is basically going to explain um why the condition of this horse uh, has declined so much based upon where the wound is and what we've been doing to um, manage and treat it and although thus far it's proven to be a bit complicated we do have a plan ahead of us um, and took some x-rays today so I'll turn it over to Dr. Moss and he can explain further. Um, so this is Saban and uh, we came out and looked at his his wound today the draining tract um, it actually looked a little bit better today um, still nonetheless it it did was, is still draining which is a little concerning um, we were able to take some x-rays of it. He does not have a bone chip or a uh, piece of bone in there continuing to cause problems, um, but he does have some type of an infection that is just really tough to kill. The reason for the weight loss is because of the area where this wound is or this draining tract. It's right up near the TMJ joint, and if any of you have ever had TMJ issues on yourself, you'll find that it's very painful and very hard to eat. Um, we are cultured it, we are changing antibiotics to see if we can get something to penetrate the bone a little better. One of the problems we do have with Saban though is that he is not a great um, candidate for taking medicine. He does not appreciate oral medication, he does not appreciate uh, injectable medication and so he makes it very difficult to administer medication uh, on a regular basis and so we're going to have to be a little creative on how we try to get him to take medication. Some of the medications that we would use for some of these bone infections, uh, oral medications are not, they don't taste very good and so the horses really detest them. Um, and Saban is not a big fan of needles for injectables. So <clears throat> that's one of the other challenges that we have with this particular horse as far as treatment goes. Um, not only do we have an infection that is just kind of very difficult to get out because of the area that it's in um, but we have a patient who is not very uh, cooperative at uh, receiving treatment now he's sitting there drooling is that because he's still sedated that is because he is still sedated okay. from when we had to take his x-rays um, he was not going to hold still for us to put a plate up by his head to shoot the x-rays and so yes that is why he looks so sedate and uh, and happy right now so one of the problems that we face online is seems to be that the general public, and this isn't necessarily to knock them, I just want to use this as an opportunity to explain that things get worse before they get better. So just like us, um, you know, when we get sick and we're laid up and what have you, um, we drop a few LVs. People make jokes about it all the time and say, oh, I wish I could get a stomach bug to lose some weight. So um, in addition to the wound on the TMJ joint, I suspect that he's battling ulcers, and so we have started treatment for that as well. Um, but if you read the letter that Dr. Moss um, 
so awesomely wrote regarding Sully, now Willie, he explained that it does get worse before it gets better. Um, and you know, the hard part is that we don't know the history of these horses. We don't know what's already been done once they come in. We don't know, you know, how long they've been battling these problems. And so without a big chunk of history, we kind of are shooting in the dark for the first several weeks. Um, so it looks like we have a game plan now. The next step is if this doesn't work when we switch up the antibiotics again, is it that we're doing a CT? That's probably the way we'd have And to that's go. clinical, right? We have to go to SLR for that. So I would imagine that that's probably a very pricey procedure. So if you guys can start praying that this works, that would be amazing. Um, we have one more update with Dr. Moss uh, coming up. So stay tuned. We're going to get you a fire time update and go from there. If you guys want to make any donations to his care, we are definitely in need of it. I saw several of you guys offer. You can always call Temecula Creek directly or uh, you can make a donation at rescue at highcaliber.org via PayPal. We'll put the links up for that, but we would definitely use the help. And you know, I have to say it's not fair that you get dinged for these things and get criticized and then the offers of help don't match that. So. Um, I challenge all of you guys who are villagers and supporters to step up and combat that and uh, help where you can and let's get him on the road to recovery and back into training. Thanks.